at the University of Salford with Ruth Barker and children from Clarendon Road Primary School recording in the University's anechoic chamber. The sound recordings produced by Ruth, the children and the teachers will form part of Ruth's new sound installation she is developing for the upcoming exhibition. So my name's Lindsay Taylor and I'm curator at the University of Salford. I'm responsible for the University's art collection. Um, there's around 700 items in the collection and we've been collecting for about 50 years. We're really delighted to work with Castlefield Gallery and Ruth on this project. Uh, it comes under our From the North strand of collecting. <laughs> My name's Ruth Barker and I'm a visual artist based in Glasgow. I've been doing a project with Castlefield Gallery which is going to open on the 8th of March which is International Women's Day. I'm making a new installation for the gallery. It's in several parts, one of which we've been working on today. We've been working with a group of children from Clarendon Road Primary School and we've been based in the anechoic chamber at Salford University. Two, three. <coughs> So my name's Emma Ford and I'm the head teacher of Clarendon Road Primary School and we've brought a group of children to work with Ruth Barker collecting sounds in the university's anechoic chamber. And we've been using that space to record the children making music with their own bodies. So humming and finding ways to turn their utterances into a kind of vocal artwork. We've been making sounds and we went into this room where no, no sounds could come and we could only hear our sounds. Um, it's because the, it's like a concrete box and then there's foam blocks around the sides to gather in all of the noise. We had an amazing morning working with the kids. For our children it's really important to experience different uh, types of activities. So the idea of working down at the university gives them an opportunity to see a future vision for their life and to experience art that isn't a painting or a drawing or a sculpture takes their thinking further. Okay, shall we try um, doing, should we try bringing them together again? Because you were really, really great at that. Yeah? So, will you put your hand up if you were a high before? We worked through a series of games that were designed to help them listen to the sounds made by their own bodies and listen also to the sounds that the other children were making. So we were really practicing their deep listening skills and their ability to respond to what other people were doing. I was expecting children to meet a real artist, come to visit the university and see where they can take their further studies and enjoy art and see what art can possibly be. Well done boys and girls, that was absolutely fantastic and I'm so proud of how you guys have worked today and you should all be so proud of yourselves, you've done a fantastic job in here, well done. It was, it was a great morning, we had a, a really productive time, they are an incredibly confident and creative group of young people, it was a pleasure to work with them. The day's been absolutely amazing. The children have met real artists, they've met people who work in the university, they've had fun. The anechoic chamber itself is a real experience for them to be stuck inside a chamber that has no external sounds and they've participated really well and enjoyed it. Um, my favourite bit was that we got to experience being inside different closures. My favourite bit was that she made it work but she made it really fun. So the recordings will become part of an artwork that will be in Castlefield Gallery as part of the exhibition. Um, we're not sure yet exactly what the final form will be, but the sounds that the children were making today in the anechoic chamber will be a really important part of the kind of sound tapestry that the work will try and produce. Speaking to the head teacher Emma Ford, she's going to take a group of children down to the gallery to see the finished work. 
For us, the children want to visit the art gallery, the Castlefield Gallery, and see their sounds in situ inside an art installation. And we'll take the idea of meditation and sound back to our school art curriculum and see if we can fit that in to the music and art curriculum. To be honest, I don't know what to expect, which is part of the excitement of working on this project and, and about commissioning artists to make new work. Um, obviously, we know Ruth's work, we know her reputation, and we've been involved in the process, but I kind of quite like the surprise of what that's actually going to be at the end. We've really enjoyed working with Ruth uh, on being able to make this work and connecting with other parts of the university, such as the Anna Kirk Chamber and our rug making facilities. So after it's toured to Glasgow Women's Library, the work will come into the university's Salford Art Collection, and that's going to be a real great legacy of the project. So should we say goodbye to the camera?